far is far. Author Sukanya Sinha. Illustrator Vishnu and Nair. Today, we will climb up a ladder together. It is a rather unusual ladder. In this ladder, the distance between the rungs gets bigger and bigger and bigger as you climb up the steps, growing 10 times at each step. Sometimes we will climb one step at a time and at other times we will skip many steps at one go. The funny thing is that we are not even sure which the last step is or whether the steps go on forever. Let the exciting journey begin. Step 0. 1 meter What do a 5-year-old boy, a cricket bat and a newborn baby elephant have in common? All of them have a height of about 1 meter, or 1 meter for short. It would be awkward to say that the ceiling of a room is 3 baby elephants high. So we make the sensible choice of saying that the height of the ceiling is 3 meters. Step 1. 10 meters Now that you have a feel for the size of 1 meter, we are ready to climb to the next step of our ladder, at 10 meters. A three-story building or a mango tree is roughly 10 meters high. A cricket pitch is about twice that length. Can you think of other objects that are about 10 meters long or high? Step 2. 100 meters Have you noticed that with every step we add a zero to the right of the number we had before, and the step number matches the number of zeros? Keep track of that as we climb along. If you have run the 100 meters race on school sports day, or watched sprinters do it on TV, you know exactly how far that is. Now imagine if the 100 meters track stood up. That would be about the height of two gold gumbas s. The gold gumbas in Bijapur, Karnataka, is the tomb of Muhammad Adil Shah. When it was built in 1656, it had the largest dome in the world. It held the record until 1881. Step 3. 1,000 meters 1,000 meters has a special name it is called 1 kilometer or 1 kilometer. You would cover this distance if you ran the 100 meter race 10 times view. You would need to climb about 9 kilometers to reach the top of Mount Everest. Step 6. 10 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 meters now let's skip two steps and go to step 6 which has six zeros to the right of one. The distance from the northern tip of India in Kashmir to the southern tip at Kanyakumari is about four times this distance, or four times ten zero 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 m or forty zero 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 m Because forty zero 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 m is quite a mouthful, we usually say 4,000 kilometers, which is the same thing. Step 8. 10 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 meters. How far away is the bright beautiful moon? It is right there on the eighth step of our distance ladder at about 4 times 10 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 m or 4 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 kilometers away from the earth. Step 11. 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 meters let us skip two more steps and race to the blazing hot sunday. How far away is it? It is about 10 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 kilometers plus another 5 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 kilometers. That is very, very far away indeed. But the far, far away sun still lights up the world and makes us wet in summer. Amazing, isn't it? Last step. 
Is there a last step on the ladder? We don't know yet. But with powerful telescopes, scientists have been able to see way beyond the sun. The farthest object that they have been able to spot is on the 26th step, 10 m away. That is seriously far. Maybe when you grow up, you can discover something even further away, on the 28th or 29th step. Isn't that an exciting thought? Fun with measuring the following activity done in a classroom setting is a great way to give children a feel for large distances and can engage the children either in a single group or in teams. 1. Ask the children to cut long strips, each about an inch wide, from old newspapers. 2. Ask them to stick the strips end to end with tape or glue to make longer strips until they get a strip that is one meter long, they can use a measuring tape for this. 3. Now ask the children to use this one meter long strip as a measure and make 10 similar strips and stick them end to end to make a 10 meters long strip. They can lie down next to this strip, head to head and feet to feet and see how many of them it takes to make 10 meters for. They can then stick 10 10 meter strips together to make a 100 meter strip that goes round the classroom many times. 5. What about a 1 kilometer strip? How many times does that go around the classroom? Which team was able to create a 1 kilometer long strip fastest? notes for parents and teachers. When writing down big numbers with lots of zeros after the one, it is very easy for children and adults to make mistakes. That is why the powers of 10 notation is such a useful thing. Through this book, children can be taught how to use it. All they need to do is to count the number of zeros to the right of the one and write that number as a superscript of 10. For instance, 1000, which has three zeros after the one, can be written as 10 3 dot. And 10 million, seven zeros after the one, can be compactly written as 10 7 dot. Simple. In this book, we stopped our How Far Is Far? Game at the Sunday. If you want to take the game further, you may want to bring in the nearest star beyond the sun, Proxima Centauri, which is 10 60 meters away from the sun day. Or the distance from one end of the Milky Way to another, which is 1000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000